Welcome, my name is Harald Sack and this is Knowledge Graphs, lecture number 6, Intelligent Applications with Knowledge Graphs and Deep Learning. This now is the very last part of the last lecture of the Knowledge Graph lecture. It's exploratory search and recommender systems. So, let us sort back to the retrieval problem. So, the retrieval problem would be you are looking for something specific and of course you know what you are looking for. So you have exactly in mind you are searching something and you know exactly what that could be. The problem then of course is always how do I specify my search request for example for a specific book. So let's take here an interesting example here. You know the author of that book would be Jules Verne and the title is From the Earth to the Moon. So now Often you are using here a unique identifier, like for example Jules Verne as an author or also the title and descriptive, descriptive metadata. However, what I would do if I go to the library and I want to look for a specific book, of course I go to the catalog. I open the catalog and then I look for the author name that I have in mind, of course, then I will find Jules Verne and also then somewhere under the card files, probably it's a card catalog again, um, I might find then From the Earth to the Moon and of course this has a longer title, direct in 97 hours 20 minutes and a trip round it. And I would probably also see the first English edition there from 1873 if I look for specifically this edition. However, this is retrieval. Exploration is a bit different. So your next question might be, how can I find another comparable book that will be of interest of me? So simply consider, yeah, you have read that book, so what will I read next? Or, yeah, this book is in the library, but somebody else has it and yeah, I have to go and find something other that pleases me. So I have to find a comparable book, so what would be interesting for me? Or I will find books of the same topic, of related topics. I want to know probably how the author develop the topic over time and which connects to it. So what else would I like to read? I want to have a number of interesting you know, recommendations which somehow reflect of course my likes and also if this is a large space of books that might be interesting for me, I want to be guided through that huge search space somehow to explore it in a way that pleases me. And that would be of course exploratory search in the end. So how to explore the information space. If you cannot find exactly what you are looking for or if you cannot exactly phrase your search request, of course, then you would be happy to find at least something which lies nearby. If we are looking for something, it's not like on the web, on the web, no matter what kind of, you know, search string I give there, I will receive an answer and then of course I will or will not like the answer. If you go into a closed environment, let's say you go to a database or knowledge base that has closed content, let's say a library, let it be also a digital library with let's say a million books, ah, that's a lot, that's too lot, take a thousand books and then you want to find something there, then it's clear that not all of your search strings that you enter there might lead to a result and then of course it's really important that you find something which is nearby, especially if that kind of search engine would ask you or would look for specific phrases only. So therefore what we can do to find something nearby is of course to look for similarity. So this means discover things and documents that are similar but not necessarily directly related to your original search request or documents that are related to your original search request and not necessarily completely similar. So this can be something completely different but it's related and therefore interesting for you. So similarity and relatedness are two really important concepts that are supported via exploratory search. Now how can we implement exploratory search based on linked data that is available to us? And I will show this to you based on uh, a DBpedia example and of course you can also extend the same example to Wikidata or any other knowledge base too. Luckily we do have a representation of exactly that novel by Jules Verne. So there is a page from the Earth to the Moon 
in DBpedia and we can make use of all of the knowledge that has been gathered around there. So let's see what we have there for example. So we have, let me quickly switch on the pointer for that. Here is From the Earth to the Moon and we will see that this is a book and that the genre there is science fiction that of course the author is Jules Verne. We will see that the publisher, publisher is Pierre Jules Etzel and of course this guy comes from France also um, the language originally written uh, that book was French and the country where it was published first was France and the publication date of the first issue was 1865. And there's further information like for example there is a film, a movie, A Trip to the Moon, very famous by Georges Méliès, so this film is more than 100 years old and um, this is based on exactly that book. Or there is more information, we have here for example another author, H.G. Wells, he was influenced by Jules Verne. This is all information we can make use of and we have via DBpedia. So let's see what we can find if we go for similarity first. You see, I go forth and back again, only a few things will change here. Because there is another book, interestingly, of course, by the same author, of course the same genre, of course the same publisher, the same country and uh, also the same language. Only a few things are different. So here for example the publication date is not 1865, it's 1864 which might lead you of course to the assumption that this book might be the predecessor of From the Earth to the Moon. And there is another thing, another movie of course, which is based on exactly that book we are looking for. However, we can say okay, these two books are rather similar because they are sharing lots of property and property values um, like our original search intent. So that would be close by and of course if I'm looking for a recommendation that would probably be a very good choice. However, you know, most similar things sometimes are not what you want to read or if you are, if you are uh, considering, for example, a uh, music suggestion, then you want to hear something different sometimes. So something which is not too similar but is related. So that would be the next thing. Let's look for things that are related and there we look at our original graphics and there we can see of course if I want to find something related to From the Earth to the Moon then I might find here a movie which is based on From the Earth to the Moon and that might interest me too but it's not really similar. Of course it has similar content but it's not a book at all. And of course it might have completely different you know producers in a different country but it was also in France. So but of course it's different. However, it's related. And there you might make a decision based on relatedness or on similarity. Okay, let's get a bit more concrete with our example. We want to combine similarity and relatedness for the scenario that we want to do book um, recommendations in exploratory search. So we have again on the beginning here From the Earth to the Moon, which is a book. And then we look for other, which are also books, which means things that are similar, that are directly related to our book here. And you see here, luckily we have two properties in DBpedia, which is one is the subsequent work and the other one is the previous work. And there we have a plain connection directly here to two, big, two books. So this is, uh, the previous work was in search for the castaways and the subsequent work here was uh, a journey to the center of the earth. And we see both our books and that would be simple recommendations based on similarity and relatedness. But they might be too close to our original author and I want to read something a bit different but nevertheless also similar. So what I'm going to do is I go one step away here by of course relatedness. I go one hop away and then I end up here at Jules Verne. Okay, now Jules Verne one more hop, same technique, looking for books that are directly here related with the author. So I find now all other books of Jules Verne and besides A Journey to the Center of the Earth I might now also find here other types of books, The Mysterious Island for example or Matthias Sandorf, which are a bit more similar but by the same author. Yeah, probably you said I have read already enough from Jules Verne, let's go to another author. But of course the authors should be related somehow. Then you go one step further and then from Jules Verne you might end up by 
somebody who has been influenced by Jules Verne, and this is uh, George Herbert Wells, uh, Herbert George Wells, the other way around, H.G. Wells. He is also a writer, so like Jules Verne, so we have here again similarity and relatedness combined. And then again we go for the recommendation subject should then also be a book. So which books are associated here with this author? So we have again here authored uh, books authored by H.G. Wells. And then you would get recommendations like, for example, The Invisible Man, The Island of Dr. Moreau, or here The War of the Worlds, which of course might then be of interest to you. And of course this is not the only thing. There might be many other things be related and similar to your original search and you simply have to play around with it and of course you can get then a nice, let's say also, tour through the entire, entire search space of things which are available and which lie nearby to the thing you were originally looking for. And of course you also can create then directly explanations. It will not only tell you, yeah, I recommend you something because it's similar. You can get directly the path, let's say, to the recommended object and this would be of course a kind of explanation why this recommendation in the exploratory search was created for you. So far so good. So exploratory search represents the activities carried out by searchers who are either sometimes not completely familiar with the domain. So if I, for example, have no idea what's exactly the vocabulary that I should use, if I'm unfamiliar with the domain, then of course I have to learn about the topic, about the domain, to understand what I want to achieve here, to in the end reach my goal. Or on the other hand, when I'm unsure about the ways to achieve exactly my goals here, so either the technology or the process, or in the worst case, if I'm completely unsure about my goals. So I just want to look around and see and wonder. So like you might remember window shopping in the time when we had not only online shops, but also real shops in the city. And then simply by striving through the shelves in a shop or something like that, you might find something that interests you and that you like, but you did not simply know it beforehand because, because you said to myself, yeah, let's look around and boom, there was something that is really interesting for you. And this of course is something what can be enabled via exploratory search. And this is, as you have seen, very closely related to recommender systems too. So this would be a content-based recommender system, which also then contains a component for explainability. And recommender systems also try to seek uh, uh, and seek to predict the preference of a user and uh, what the user then in the end would choose according to the likings of the user. So to make a good recommender systems, we would also need to know more about the user. So it's not only then that you look for semantic similarity and relatedness, which is the content-based recommendation. You always have to keep in mind, yeah, what exactly is the context of my user? What do I know about the user, uh, the history of the user? You have to take both components into account there for a very good recommender system. However, both are sometimes also here based on exploration and exploratory search. Let's come back to our original question. So what should I read next? So imagine you want to read Jules Verne's From the Earth to the Moon, but it's currently not available in your library. So what are you doing? The general idea to work with is we want to retrieve similar books that share properties and property values with From the Earth to the Moon. And we can do exactly this kind of a query simply with Sparkle. And of course, we can do this on DBpedia as well as on Wikidata. So I just suggest to do this first, of course, with DBpedia because it's a bit smaller. And then these queries, which are quite complex, might not come to an end. So therefore, let's first go to, for the smaller knowledge base, which is DBpedia here. OK. So this is basically the query that we are doing, the original query that you can enter here or access by the link that is given here is a bit more complicated, but you should be able to understand it and figure it out by yourself. But what we are after here is we are looking for books and we want to count here something, what we get here. So, and this is exactly the book that we are looking for should be related somehow to From the Earth to the Moon in the following way. So we are looking here for a book which is of type book and which shares the most of possible 
property and objects with from the Earth to the Moon. So we count here simply the number of objects and uh, we group this then by all of the sim single books that we are retrieving. And um, then since we count all of the matching objects that we have here, we order this in descending order and then we will get a list of results which gives us the most similar book at the very first place. So I will show you the Sparkle query rather quickly. So here is the query. It's a bit more complicated to really run than also in the DBP environment. And you see here our result. And you see here lots of results, of course, in the very first places with the highest core and the highest similarity are other books also authored by Jules Verne. But there is more interesting things to discover and I show you this. I have prepared this, of course, on the slide. And if you go to the next slide, then you see more results because this is another format, of course, of the returned uh, results that I have here. And you see here also, again, first we have here the books of Jules Verne. So if you do this query on your own and these numbers are not the same, this is simply because DBpedia also is dynamically extended and there might be more properties, more objects available. Therefore, the scores might be higher than at one point. And you see here the first thing would be in search of the castaways. So we saw already that this is rather similar. But we also find things which we would not necessarily expect to be similar to from the Earth to the Moon. Like for example here from Pierre Boulle, the planet of the apes is there in the list. Uh, and also uh, Fahrenheit uh, 451 could be found here, which are really nice and interesting and also uh, valuable novels that were not necessarily on your mind when you were looking for books similar to From the Earth to the Moon. So this is a first kind of recommendation system. And of course, I challenge you also, you can try out the same thing on Wikidata, which is, which is much larger. And there you might have the problem that your queries quickly can run into timeouts. However, that was a very first glimpse on how exploratory search might be realized based on linked open data. With that, we come to an end of the entire lecture. So I hope you have enjoyed this lecture and you will stay tuned, watch it probably over again. If you have questions, of course, you know that there is also a, a chat channel that is uh, on the OpenHPI platform directly connected with it and we are happy to answer your questions and to discuss with you. Another question that might already or still be open from our recordings previously, um, I might answer simply and say goodbye with the following words. Live long and prosper and may the force be with you.